Hi guys, so basically I'm going to basically show you something. So basically, um, this is going to actually going to be a super quick video. So basically, as you see here, I have, I'm going to show you how to make a, a soundboard. So basically, and OBS, so basically we have soundboards like um, 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 the software called, uh, right here called Farago, but it's only on Mac OS, and the other softwares that are on Windows don't really work properly, and they also um, are not as well polished as Farago. But basically, here's the free option for you. So all you need to do is make a, a scene called Soundboards. Then once you make a scene called Soundboards, you basically have, um, let me show you so. So let me show you, let me get a camera because I got my camera now. So basically, um, as you can see, um, here's my OBS scene. So you, you make a source called Soundboard. And so um, this is what the, it, the, okay, one second, one second. So I got to copy real quick. So first you gotta make a source called soundboard, okay? And so a scene called soundboard, and then you got put in sources, um, desktop audio, and uh, or you can basically have have desktop audio inside of the main scene right here. I would recommend putting it in the spot where the where 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 it's easy to find. So basically, from here. I made a source, I made something called beep. So when I press it, it will do beep like this. And so basically to, um, to get like that, you have to click on here. You have to click, you gotta click here. Then you gotta add a media source. And then when you add a media source, you have to basically um, click on, unclick, restart the playback when source becomes active, and add the file. And so once you do actually that, you uh, basically right click on here, go to properties, and I mean not properties, you right click here on the um, item right here. For example, Veep, you click here, and then you click on Advanced Audio Properties. Then you go to uh, um, the Beep and, or, or whatever sound effect you add, and press Monitor and Output, so, so you can hear it. And then basically after that, um, you you make sure it's an individual source. Then you go to your main scene. Let me put my camera back now. I'm going to delete the scene now. So basically, uh, so you go back to your main scene. Sorry about the bad handling, but basically, you go back to your main scene, and then you may make right click here, go to scene, and you make a nested scene of called sound of of soundboard, and then basically, you basically can either do do this two ways if you have the uh, um, settings, you go settings, and then you go to hotkeys, and find the scene you actually made, and basically click on where it says restart, you give that a hotkey, and, and you can press the hotkey to have it restart. Or, if you have a stream deck, you basically open up the stream deck application, then you go to, um, down to OBS. And then you basically select media source control. And for example, I have this one right here. You click it and you press source, which is beep and action, play and restart. And uh, basically, when you press it, it does this. And it'll play the, the sound effect. And if you wanted to, for example, this one is the other one I have. Um, but basically, let me just show you something very specific. So if you wanted to mute your microphone, so 
basically if you have a specific microphone so first you need to take a um, multi-action and then you take this copy and now you go to here you go to your multi-action it's canceled by the action layer to that so there's that So basically, um, now you go down to where it says uh, um, audio mixer, drag two on there, and drag one up top. So when you basically um, um, swear, You can basically go like this. You just press mic audio, mic and aux, or whatever your mic is. Press mute, and then go here, and then go here, and mic and audio unmute. And so, I'm gonna show you what it does, so you won't be able to hear me. But basically, when I press that multi-action, like that, see. So the multi-action is two seconds, okay? So so now you just go over to where it says uh, delay, and now you basically press that, press two seconds. And now you basically just press it and then and then you can basically set this to restart and so when you press it again It should work but basically that's if you want to deal with a multi-action and so I would just stick with the just single buttons okay that's a quick video I wanted to make so save minutes so thanks for watching bye